Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. In this video, I want us to have a look at some remarks made by Martha Karua. For the remarks are going to form the basis of our analysis and discussion right now. The result was in our favor. It was flipped at the bombers and the court upheld it. We respect the court's decision, but disagree with it. I personally do not agree with the verdict. The seven justices know why they did that and one day we shall know because the truth will always surface. Martha Karua, 20th 10, 2022. That was yesterday. Martha Karua is making it very clear that the results were overturned at Bomas. Besides the rigging and the inflation of results at the polling stations, when they reached Bomas again, they were overturned there again. And the seven justices at the Supreme Court went ahead and upheld those results. In this video, I want us to dig deep into that story to understand the story behind the story. If you are watching us for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. Yes. Before we dig deep into the story, Martha Karua was also quoted yesterday as saying this, I have not accepted Duto as the president of Kenya. The law accepts him, not me. Martha Karua, 20th October, 2022. Yes. So Martha Karua believes William Ruto never won the election. Martha Karua believes Ruto rigged himself as the president. Yes. And those remarks by Martha Karua, Martha Karua is just voicing what a good majority of Kenyans also feels and believes. And I'm saying that because if you look at the circumstances that followed before William Ruto was declared the winner, then anybody can question whether William Ruto won the election or not. Somebody can. There are some question marks. Because first of all, IEBC that conducted the election, a majority of the commissioners disputed the results. The same body that conducted that election. And then secondly, if you look on how Kenyans voted, both on the ground and in terms of elected leaders, as a meal, in terms of elected leaders, they had majorities in the National Assembly, in the governors, and in members of county assemblies. So out of four, they won in three. They won in the National Assembly, they won gubernatorial, they won also MCAs. Kenya Kwanzaa only managed to beat them in the Senate. And in the Senate, Kenya Kwanzaa had 24, Azimio had 23. In all these others, Azimio won. Yes. So you are seeing that in terms of elected leaders' representatives, Azimio won. Then if it comes to the ground, Raila wins in six out of eight regions. Ruto only wins in two regions. And then one region, the mountain, Turnout is below 50%. The final results indicates that the turnout is about 70%. So the turnout has moved from below 50% to about 70%. It has been inflated by about 20%. Besides the, rig the rigging at the polling stations, the results were also inflated at Bumas. And those are just some of the reasons why Martha Karua does not believe or she's not accepting 
William Ruto as the president. And then the interesting bit about it is that when they raise such kind of anomalies, such kind of <laughs> massive readings at the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court in unison, unanimously upheld that kind of an election. An election that the commissioners, a majority of the commissioners, are rejecting. The Supreme Court upheld that election. And also it beats logic that out of seven Supreme Court judges, there was not even one single judge or one or two hmm? who had a contrary opinion. Hmm? Not even one or two who had a dissenting opinion. That's not realistic. It shows that something was well planned here. And these are things Kenyans will still continue talking about. These are things that even after 50 years, after 20 years, Kenyans will still be talking about that election. Mm -hmm. Kenyans will still be talking about that election. So Martha Karua here, besides putting the spot on IEBC, she's squarely putting the spot again on the seven Supreme Court justices. Martha Karua is just trying to say, in other words, that the judges are compromised. They are not independent. And if you look at the events that have followed after William Ruto was sworn in as the president, they are just proving that. Already we have seen Wafula Chebukati's wife, he are marked for PS position. We have also seen IBC commissioner, Boya Mulu, he are marked for PS position. And we have also seen very interesting things. The courts are dropping corruption cases against leaders deemed William Ruto's allies. And I think that's not happening by accident. This is, these are things well planned here, ladies and gentlemen. And if you look at it from another angle, when Raila was living for India and other countries, he made it very clear that upon his return, he will reclaim his victory. And Martha Karua here is just cleverly trying to reveal to Kenyans maybe Raila's strategies here. One such strategy of Raila Odinga reclaiming his victory is that upon his return to Kenya, we are most likely going to see a unified Azimio agitating for the resignation of the seven Supreme Court justices. They are going to call for the seven Supreme Court justices to vacate office. And I personally believe that if Azimio, as a team, pushes for that, then they are just going to render those Supreme Court justices irrelevant. The, an impression will be created that they are taking sides. And that will make it very hard for them to perform their duties properly. Anything they will be doing or any decision they will be making, it will be seen as a compromised ruling or verdict. It will make it very hard for them to, con to continue staying in office. And I'm saying that because already quite a good majority of Kenyans are also not very happy with William Ruto's government because of the high cost of living. So any kind of dissident or any kind of a contrary opinion that is challenging the government, that kind of a, an opinion can have a support of quite a good majority of Kenyans. Yes. And now if the public mood turns against the seven Supreme Court justices, they'll have no escape route. They'll have no option but to resign. I believe Martha Karua here is just trying to reveal one of their strategies on how they will make sure Raila reclaims his victory. They'll first of all push for the resignation of the seven 
Supreme Court justices. And they'll do it earlier enough for the judiciary to be independent. Because <laughs> at the rate we are seeing cases being dropped, it's clear that <laughs> the judiciary is now held, held captive. I believe that's what Martha Karua is just trying to expose and to reveal. Let me stop it there. But just as I did indicate when we were starting, if you are watching us for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. Any person who wants to support our channel here, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through the number or feel free to send a contribution or a donation to the number. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you.